All right, hello everybody. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Chris. Hi, I'm Francesca. And we're both solutions delivery consultants based here out of the San Francisco office. And this is my Through My Lens. This is Hot Ones. If you haven't seen the YouTube series, it's Sean Evans, this interviewer who interviews celebrities with extremely hot sauce and it gets sequentially hotter. And then he asks really hard questions. So Chris invited me here today to do this for his Through My Lens. All right. Let's begin. Okay, so the first one is sriracha. Starting with the basic. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah. So Francesca, now that you've been in this role for seven plus months, What's an experience from a previous job that really prepared you for this role? Um, I, when I was a junior in college, um, specifically like spring semester, I took that semester off and I moved my entire life to work for Disney in Florida. I was an intern there and I also had an internship after that that was in Pennsylvania. So for nine months of my entire life, I was away from my friends, away from my family, completely uprooted my life and moved it to start working life. So I got a little bit used to how the schedules go, how to, I don't know, make new friends in a new place, how to entertain myself in a new place and keep touch with my friends back home. So I feel like that helped me adjust to working life, learn how to operate with a really tough boss, op operate with like delivering, delivering things that help the business and being a real employee, real adult. Wow, this is the Walt Disney Company? Yes. Happiest place on earth? Happiest place on earth. <laughs> also the sriracha. Tells nothing. Yeah. But I, think, I think I can handle spicy food. Scale one to 10? Scale that was one like ten, that's a, a one and a half. Yeah. That was nothing. I would say one and a half, that's a good, that's a good uh, gauge. Okay. All right. You can, uh, vinegar. Vinegar. Can, sure. you can taste the vinegar. Hints of citrus. You can taste the vinegar. And it's, it's good. I actually like it. Yeah. Okay, Chris, what are some of your misconceptions about this role that you had before you started? Well, before I started this role, I, didn't, I really didn't know how to explain what this role was. Um, I kind of thought it was more like customer support. Mm -hmm. But that's when I didn't really know how difficult and complex digital marketing really is for the full stack. And, you know, under now, being in the role, understanding the different possibilities and the ways that these products all work together, I kind of don't see the role as more of like, more of like a mentor to the client. Because some clients, when we start them, we, they don't really have a lot of experience with digital marketing. And so I think that being able to be there for them and really help them mm -hmm. make the most of the solution that we have, I think that's like one of the key big differences I've I've like come to yeah. realize. How have your previous experiences in digital marketing helped you in your role right now? I've been fortunate to have experience across like different types of companies. So I've been part of a publisher, like a network. I've also been at an agency and I've been at the marketer. So I had like this overall understanding of how the media buying, media selling, as well as kind of like strategy behind digital marketing work all together. And so I, I think bringing that with my um, passion in technology and solving problems, I think it really comes together. Yeah, well, that's why you got hired, right? So. Hopefully, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? I'm doing okay. These are probably really good. These are all really good hot sauces, and I, I want to buy these, seriously, but I think they, in the beginning, they kind of, lead you on a trail and they make you think that you're going to do okay and then they hit you with, I don't know, the fourth one. So we'll see what happens. All right, Francesca, what is something that Adobe or this role has given you that you've never experienced in your previous work, other companies or other experiences? Well, yesterday I got a massage for free. <laughs> so that was nice. So we went to this wellness um, expo they had in the Hooper building. And so that was fun for us to go to. But in all seriousness, um, I think Adobe has this culture of mentorship and also mobility, like just genuine, genuine support for your career and whatever goals you have. So whereas I've seen other companies that are very segmented and you're very stuck in your own org and limited in the opportunities, I think there is the structure or lack thereof in place at Adobe to kind of let you guide your own career. Has any other work that is kind of sort of cohort that we have here at Adobe? 
Is that a personal plug? Yes, I have not liked my coworkers up until this point, so <laughs> I am very good friends. That's clear. I would not do this for anyone that I just dislike. So. <laughs> I almost feel like this one was, no. No, it's hitting now. <laughs> I was about to say the third one was spicier, but it wasn't. It's sweeter though. I mean, it's sweeter. It has a kick. So Chris, if you had the time and money to start a side hustle, what would you do? I'm someone who really liked creating experiences for other people, but it's through video, events. And so my dream job would be to be able to travel around the world, and to make short form documentaries. Like I love to interview people, uh, follow a story, and become kind of a journalist. More like, not like a news journalist, more of a like feature journalist. Mm -hmm. so that would be one of, one of the things I'm really passionate about. That's awesome, that's yeah. really cool, I didn't know that. <laughs> I feel it more internally in my body than in... It does take time to build it up for sure. Yeah. Do I reach for the milk or not? I am not going to Okay, do I'm it. just going to go for the water. <laughs> it's water for now. All right, the next one is going to be a quick little segment. We like to call it Explain That Graham. And so in this segment, I'll just go to Francesca's social media, and I'll pick her a random photo, and then she has to explain the backstory behind that photo. So Francesca... Be careful what you post, kids. <laughs> I've picked this photo. Francesca, would you tell us? Have you ever been to Rocky Horror Picture Show? Like the live version? I believe this was close to Valentine's Day. They do specials on Christmas, Halloween, Valentine's Day, but you go and get really dressed up and because Rocky Horror Show is such a cult movie, essentially, you go and you're, you're throw, they give you things to throw at the screen, you're yelling out the lit, like the words of the movie. It's like a very fun experience. And if you go dressed up, it's even more fun. You know I like my costumes, so. <laughs> I win! I'm hold surviving! On, on. No, 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 we're going all the way. Okay. The next one we have the bomb. I heard this one's bad. I've watched a lot of Hot Ones videos. This one kind of hits people, so we'll see how Chris does. We'll see. I think it gets better. I, it's, it's I a... think I slathered a lot on mine compared to yours, but it's sour. It just tastes angry. <laughs> it's like, it's smoky, but in the worst way. Put a lot on that one. That one. That one hurt. That one hurt. <laughs> it's different. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's going down my throat. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of that, I just doused that one. This is the one I thought I would die at, so. <laughs> I'm gonna go eight because I know it's getting worse. It's getting existential there. I'm requesting a five minute break. <laughs> I haven't touched my milk yet, I'm refusing until I get like dead. Alright. This one's a sneaker. Is it? Sneak attack. <laughs> okay, sorry, that was I wait for it to hit. And it's not hitting. Okay. A lot of people have helped us to get to where we are today. At Adobe, who would you give credit to in terms of getting you to where you are today? So I have two, uh, two people in mind. The first is my mentor. Her name is Jesse uh, Doek. Doeki. Doki. Doki. <laughs> and <laughs> she has been my go-to person when it comes to target shadowing, advice in general, and just understanding how to navigate your way through consulting. And she's been a great help in getting me onboarded on a lot of her clients, giving me meaningful opportunities to be involved. And the other person is here in the audience today, my buddy Kirsten. I'm so glad to be on the same account with her. Uh, we have to always have this one-on-one -on -one every week. 
going to update each other on what's happening on the target side, and Chris, Chris is updates me on what's happening on the AEM side. Um, and I think it's a good, great relationship to have, especially that I want to be more involved with T-Mobile and just have someone here in the office in San Francisco. I think that's a great opportunity, and I can't thank you enough, Christian. Shout out to her, she just got a promotion. Woo! How are you doing, buddy? That one actually hurts less, less than the bomb. Less than the bomb. The bomb is worse. What? I don't know. It just tastes angry. It's, like, it's, it's just nasty. Like... It's sour. <sighs> it's smoky. And it's just gross. Like, it just does not taste good. All right. Ready to do the last one? This is the, the classic last dab. It's, it's tradition to dab a little bit extra onto the last one. We're going to have to do it. We're going to do it. We have to go all the way. We're here. We're never going to do this again. It's been nice knowing you all. <laughs> it's really good. Oh, no. <laughs> good. Just in preparation. You know, in preparation. You never know. It's I'm not really tolerant. In the back. But this one's a thousand plus Scoville, and this one is. 750, 750, er, yeah, 750. Okay. Actually, it's not that bad. The bomb. the bomb was so bad. I might have lathered that one on because I did that one. <laughs> Anyways, when people come on the show, they usually have something to promote when I'm watching Hot Ones. People come and tell them what, what new movies coming out, things like that. So, what is something you've been working on? What's something you want to say to the entire audience? So, I worked on this project. It's called um, Billable Target. And um, <clears throat> the idea is to hit my utilization. So if any anyone who's watching this has any billable opportunities. And what solutions? My name is Chris Nguyen. I'm a Target and AEM consultant. My name is Francesca. I'm an analytics consultant recently trained on Target. And we're available to reach through email or Slack. Looking anything you want. Work. We're eager Always. to learn. And this is the face we put on for clients, <laughs> staying strong through the pain, so. We always finish what we started, we always follow through, and challenges will never and stop And thank you for coming! Woo, we're going to the top line! She didn't even touch her milk! Yeah, you guys are